Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. We're playing the Terra Firma in motion pack created by Grimcore. We're on his server and we just did some iron stuff. Before we get into actually making the iron anvil and getting into the iron age, I wanted to fix a few things. Uh, the drying mat. If you leave fruit on the drying mat and it rains on the fruit, the fruit actually spoils more and does not dry. However, if you put another drying mat over top that prevent it and now you can get actual dried stuff if you have decay in something you can mix it with a knife to cut that decay off but you can see we lose from 160 ounces down to 70 ounces oh my goodness that's a lot of decay this one is uh it says 8.7 as soon as i pull it out it'll update and it goes to 48 percent so yeah we were not drying our fruit very well <laughs> with this process we lost a ton of fruit. We could probably now st uh, stick those together. Yep. Okay. Probably the same with this peach. It's going from 160 ounces down to 79 ounces. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's dry these again. This time we will make sure they're covered and they don't get wet. Wet dried fruit is not dry at all, right? Uh, I think we have some more fruit in here we can might be able to seal. Let's try an apple and I guess another banana. I like banana chips, they're good. All right. All right, so we'll hope that works a little bit better. Maybe we'll end up with some dried fruit. Uh, it says I think it takes at least 24 hours, full day. Got some Douglas fir planted here, so those have grown. That's awesome. Sweet. I want to plant lots of those because they give so much wood every time you kill them. All right, so we moved on to doing iron um, stuff. I put sticks in here because I was welding a lot, and when I shift-clicked it, it kept going in here. Put something in here, and you shift-click, it'll go there. Makes it a lot easier. The other thing is iron cools down a lot. We had to take those 400-unit... Um, blooms and split them first into four different 100 unit blooms and then each of those had to be refined down to an iron ingot by the time i was done with one the other three had cooled down had to heat them up again it was just a pain in the butt so we kind of hacked the system <laughs> and we went and crafted some deco craft stuff deco craft is a storage it has a lot of storage options you know things that actually look really cool it's just a barrel that i put here um but there's another one that there's a chest in here that looks really awesome so pretty cool. The thing about these is normally TFC disables all kind of vanilla storage um, because they, in order to make their system of cooling and rotting and all those other systems work, they can't. Those items can't be inside vanilla storage. Um, so it disables it all. You have to create, you know, barrels or TFC chests um, like those or, you know, other things to store stuff in. Well, just so happens that DecoCraft. <laughs> Kind of goes around that and says, "Here's here's some cool storage stuff," and you're like, "Great, okay, I'll use it for storage." Um, but TFC ticks don't happen, and so none of this will ever cool down. <laughs> you can see they're all staying at yellow. Huh? I don't know. That's that's kind of cheaty. It's kind of a hack. Lance Strider was telling me about it, and I was like, "Man, I'm so like frustrated with how long it takes to do the iron stuff because of it cooling down. That maybe I'll just have to do that for ingots only, just for the heat purposes." We're not like wasting a ton of time. We can actually move on with the pack. And soon enough we'll be into tech mods and we won't have to deal with temperatures and all that kind of stuff anyway. So we'll see. Anyway, I do have the seven wrought iron ingots. We should be able to craft those. I'm not sure if I need to let them cool before I craft into the anvil. Nope, there we go. Here comes big achievement, guys. Oh yeah. And <laughs> we now overburdened. But I'm hoping we didn't skip a quest line. That would stink. No, we didn't. Okay. So that gives us a choice between a bronze sword that does 220 attack damage. I have better than that. Or a bronze chest plate. My leather chest is about to break. So I will take that for sure. Thank you, Grimcore. Oh, a chest plate did break already. Ah, look at me now. Oh, yeah. I'm looking awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and then the next piece of our quest is to do two things. So make a blast furnace. Oh my gosh, that's gonna take forever. Uh, it says it takes 30 clay, 30 kaolinite, 30 graphite, and 56 
ingots of wrought iron. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> um, the 30 kaolinite and graphite, those are to make the two crucibles that are required in the recipe. But the blast furnace, those 56 ingots go into making these blast furnace blocks and all that kind of stuff. This is pretty crazy. This is each additional layer of the blast furnace requires 20 clay, 20 kaolinite, 20 graphite, and another 24 ingots of wrought iron. This thing is crazy the amount of stuff it takes. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's one way we can go. Or we can just go this way and just get a flint and steel. Probably 60 others are paying, they must be it right away, so we can now get a flint and steel if we just take a wrought iron ingot and a piece of flint. That'll last a lot longer than our sticks. It looks like we get two of them, and they stack. That's cool. All right, so uh, enough with this brass one. Let's get this, all this stuff out of here so we can break it down and put our iron one there. Oh, beautiful. Do remember that I can... Let's put this back in there. Um, I can take this uh, bronze one and melt it in here if I want. Oh, I, okay, I guess I did want. <laughs> so that'll give me a ton of bronze ingots. Um, I'm not going to do it now. But I think this was... Why, how was that so hot? This has been off for a while. This thing just, like, st stayed really hot for some reason. That it melted that instantly. I thought I was just going to leave this here and come back to it later. But, alright, when, when I need some bronze, I'll come back in here. Um, so we need to do some iron. We have tons of iron ingots here. And we want to make them into cool stuff. So I can take the sticks back out. First off, I want a pickaxe. Because once you're in the Iron Age, from what I've heard, we have Vein Miner with iron pickaxes. Oh yeah, that's going to be beautiful. <laughs> so put it in there. Oh, look at all this crap we can build. Pickaxe, please. Uh, shrink, 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 shrink. Oop, too far. There we go. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, oops. Okay. That was a, took a lot longer than it should have, but <laughs> we have the wrought iron pickaxe. All right. So we'll have our uh, bismuth bronze one as backup, but we need to go check this one out. We've got some bismuth right over here. That's probably my closest uh, ores that I have. Let me look at my map real quick. Uh, we've got malachite. That's copper. I don't really care about that. There's some lapis here, but I haven't opened up that part of the map yet. Gold would be awesome. Um, well, how far away is my hematite? That's a ways away. Okay, let's just go with the, the fast one because bismuth, bismuth is so close. And if I can't get it there, then we'll go over to the hematite. Because I definitely need more hematite. More iron is always going to be required. Especially if you want that blast furnace. Oh my gosh, that was requirements, guys. <laughs> that is nuts. Not something we're going to build in an episode. It's probably something I'll build over time. I'll just get, you know, a few pieces here and there. We'll start with a very small one and build it up, you know, as we go to taller and taller. Uh, and then Lance Strider says he can even come and, like, automate it with redstone for me. So I can just push a button and it'll throw everything in there and out pops iron. Or whatever. Out yeah, pops steel, I guess. So that will be cool. <laughs> Why is my sprint button on? Let's get over this bismuth. I just want to see what happens with Vein Miner. I'm really interested because, like, if I destroy a ton of blocks, I, I if, with Vein Miner will do... I assume there's going to be a lot of cave-ins. <laughs> this could be get... get pretty scary but let's go try it we're gonna, we're gonna have fun let's grow in here cherry i've got plenty of cherry i missed most of the autumn time what what actually time is it right now are we in the spring oh it's early winter okay should have some snow pretty soon how far away are you still all right we're close here's my mine whoa that was close so this one I dug down and opened up into a giant shaft, or not a shaft, a, uh, a ravine, and I started digging, the whole thing fell down, it was nuts. Alright, and I think the bismuth is 
down there. Oh, there's. The, I went away, these chunks were unloaded, so that's why the torches were still lit. But now that the chunks are loaded again, they're like, hey, wait a minute, I've been burning for way too long. I'm not going to burn anymore, and they all turn off. All right, but the bismuth was not easy to find. It's way down here, and even then, I don't remember where it was. This was back before I really knew what to do with the prospector's pick. Come on, light these things up for me. How fast is iron? What's our durability here? 24.94, which is a little, about, again, double our previous one. Uh, we have a prospector's pick, so we can see where this actually is. Nothing of interest. Awesome. Medium sample. Medium sample. Oh, nothing. Maybe it's down here. Oh, is it? Very large sample. All right, we're getting close. It's all caved in around here. <laughs> Torch, torch, you know. Oh, there's a piece right there. Do we dare? Do we dare? Oh, we're gonna die, guys. We're so gonna die. All right, I'm holding down the vein miner key, grave, and hit it. Oh, there was nothing attached to it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, holy crap! <laughs> Oh, wow. That's more bismuth than I will ever need in my lifetime. And there's actually still more that fell down. Look, it's all over the place. Ah, oh, do we have a back? Oh, we didn't bring anything to store it in. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Well, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I can eat my sandwich. That'll uh, open another slot. There's so much. That was crazy. I just took one down and I was like, nothing's happening. And all of a sudden, like... Thousands of bismuth just like flew, flung themselves at me and said, please mine us, please use us. Okay, I think we got it all because this one's not full. Wow, guys. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to go um, put this away, if I can find my way out of here. And uh, I'll meet you at the malachite mine because I want to see if we can do the same thing with malachite. And uh, then we'll have, to, we'll have plenty of iron. It's just working it at that point. Uh, which is cool. Uh, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back at the hematite mine. Uh, hematite, hematite, I don't know. But remember, this is how we left it. We'd gotten pretty much the top layers off, the top three layers off, and we had a lot below us. Um, I am totally nervous this is all going to cave in below me, so I almost want to stand over here, maybe. Uh, so vein miner engaged. Go vein miner. Oh, my goodness. Did you see it just take everything? Wow, filled the inventory again. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, I think we got it all, but wow. Yeah, you can see what it did below us. It just, wow. It took everything, and it slapped it all right in front of us. So brilliant. We love it. Oh, yeah. That's more hematite than I'll need for quite a while. That that might even be enough for the blast furnace to complete it. It's crazy. Awesome. All right, guys, meet you back at home. We are having a good time now. All right, guys, we got more malic or uh, magnetite or hematite, whatever we got that can fit in that chest or the barrel that I made. So we are set for quite a while. Let's go ahead and finish this one. Um, I noticed there's two different recipes: one for vanilla and one for terra firma craft. I better make this one for the quest, is what I think. Um, should we just verify that real quick? Uh, it does say light. Yeah, that's definitely right. So we want the iron on the side of the flint to make the right one. We just get one, but now we got much better than a fire starter. Cool. And that should complete the quest. I want to see what's what's going to give me next. We get a music disc for this. Uh, cat, 13, or blocks. We'll go with cat. Sure. And... Didn't open a single name. <laughs> awesome. Well, look at this, guys. Complete, 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 complete. Oh, we've got something new. Oh, that's where we needed nice, and I've not, I've not found any nice. Uh, glass furnace. Oh, should we do some of this stuff? Maybe we should do some of this. We can do this. Sure. Yeah. We got the arrows. We just need the bow, really. Which specific bow is it? So, three string and uh, three sticks. 
Sure, I can do that. I got one string. Nope, there's some string. Okay, go. Cool. String. I thought I already made a bow. Oh well. I made a second one. Complete the quest. Alright. Native copper and some feathers. And look at what we opened now. Wants us to get copper to uh, copper weapons and then start going into better bows. So we try this crossbow thing. To make a long bow, we need a long bow. Wait, what? <laughs> Durably under I don't know what that does. Apparently glue and sycamore lumber and a longbow make a longbow. Uh, otherwise, we can make a sinew bowstring and a bow limb. The limb is just knifing a log. Okay. Oh, um... Wait a minute. Can I get a log? Can I get a log log? What? What? Yeah. I need some knives. Oops. Actually, do I have a knife? I have a knife right here, Funshine. Come on, grab this one. So dark in my room. These little gems did not light up enough. Alright, so knife, log. Oh, yep. Bow limb. Sweet. Okay, good. And I think I've got a sinew over here somewhere. Yep, there's a oh, tendon. Is that what it wanted? A sinew bow string takes three sinew strings, takes three. Oh, each of these take fiber. I got three fiber from the hammer on a tendon. Okay. Well, there's two tendons. Do I have one more somewhere? Please? Please? Dang it. Nothing. Okay. Well, we can get. We got rid of our hammer, didn't we? We left it behind. We traded it for bismuth. Take this one, thank you. We'll hammer those uh, tendons into sinew fibers. Sinew fibers down the side. Oops. Make sinew string, and I'm going to need one more to get the full one. All right, so we'll put that on hold until we kill another deer somewhere. We'll call that the on hold chest. Uh, feathers in there, napstones in there. Where are we going to put this stupid record? And I'm starving! My goodness, I'm starving. And that sandwich is a piece of crap. Okay. I've got too much copper in my inventory than, than there should be. I think copper's way down here. No, where did I put copper? Just like reg regular copper. Come on, it's somewhere. Is that right here? No, that's graphite. Oh, guess I don't have a place for regular copper. Tetrahedra out of work. All right. Um, dum -dum -dum, can't do that. Copper sword. Oh, I really don't want to make that, but I guess I have to. And then it's going to make me make the three weapons out of copper. Stuck there. Don't really care about this. Have we killed another 50? No, we're waiting. Alrighty. Well, now that I have Vein Miner, if I can find just one... Um, unit of graphite, I could probably find a ton. And I think I know where there is some graphite, so let me head over there and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, went out to the graphite mine, and even with uh, uh, my pickaxe, I was not able to get much. We got 10. We'll need more. That's all right. On my way, I found a wild sheep. Um, and Grimcore's already caught like six or seven sheep, so I figured it wasn't a big deal if I killed that one. So I went and ahead and killed him. And uh, got some sheep skin. Now if I take that sheep skin here and I need a knife, it's going to destroy, well turn the sheep skin into a regular hide and give me some wool. Alright, so based on the size of the sheep I guess, I don't know, it gives you different wool. But we've now got three wool. And you can see I can do different things, I can make paint brushes with wools, but this is the one thing is I would like to take it with a spindle and make this wool yarn. Wool yarn I can make a plumb line, don't care about that. You can wool cloth and a loom, don't really care about that. You can make these other lanterns, don't really care about that. <laughs> I'm trying, let's just go with what I'm trying to find. I'm looking for a, uh, a water, this guy, a leather water sack. And you can see that takes two 
water sack leathers, a sheep bladder, and two of these wool yarns and a knife. Now this is just like a, a, a jug of water, but you can hold multiple swigs of it. So that'll allow me to carry more water as we go. Um, so yeah, let's get this wool yarn again. So we need a spindle. The spindle, I've got one, but if you want to know how to make one, you need to make the spindle head, which is just a piece of clay on a stick. Makes you the clay spindle. You cook that in your pit kiln, you get the spindle head, you lose the stick, obviously. Then you got to put that spindle head back on a stick to make the spindle. My goodness. Now we can take this with our yarn and get a bunch of wool yarn. Pretty cool. Alright, now let's see if I can find everything I've got. There's my water leather sacks, my sheep bladder. Alright, we got what we wanted. So sheep there, blap, blap, string, string, and knife. There we go. These two guys are made by napping leather, and I've showed you how to make the leather. And we've now got our leather water sack. Of course it's nighttime, but we'll try and light up the way as we go down to the lake. I've, I think I've lived here long enough now that we're starting to see some of the benefits of the uh, the spawn protection. Once you've lived in a chunk for a while, it starts to spawn less and less. All right, so we fill this guy up. All right, so he's got tons of water in there. Now I can drink it. You can see it's uh can hold multiple swigs of water. Awesome. So that's cool. I don't really need this water jug anymore, or ceramic jug. I'm amazed this thing lasted this long. <laughs> like, the first one I had broke after, like, I used it twice, and then this one, I think, is the one I've had ever since then. It's lasted forever. So let's just put it right down there or something. Go down there. Okay. So we've got water. We've got... I need to cook some food. Actually, we could probably seal it. Let's get it to there. Until we're ready for it. Might as well cook one. Um, I think I want to get a barbecue. I know I just put that where I'm going to move it now. Uh, right there. I'll just put it down on the ground. I don't care where. Um, seal that up so this stays nice and fresh. There is a barbecue. Nope. Is it a grate? No. Um, is it a grill? There it is. A grill. And that is made... With two double iron wrought wrought iron ingots, you get the grill. And the grill we can cook, it's it's like the campfire, but it's easier to cook. I think you can cook multiple pieces of meat on it at one time, which is pretty cool. So I might craft that up off camera. We can uh, experiment with it next time. Also come up with a plan. Guys, I need to know where you'd like me to take this mod now that we're getting further. Should we just keep going into Terra Firma Craft progression line? So that means going to the blast furnace to get steel, red steel, black steel, blue steel, whatever, and uh, and then go into mods, or would you like to, me to start going into mods right away? I mean, if you see, it's hard to see what we have, but we've got, uh, scroll through, bibliocraft, we've got some buildcraft, really? Okay, buildcraft is in here. Um, tons of facades here. Uh, carpenter blocks, decoration blocks, yeah, tons of stuff. Electrical age, definitely want to get into that. Look at all this cool stuff with that. That's awesome. Uh, da -da -da. Ender IO is in here. Forge micro blocks, a billion pages of that. Um, we've got some Minecraft comes alive. We could actually like make some villages and try and get some uh, villages to breed and marry us and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've got Magnetic Craft. That would be awesome. And then uh, Not Enough Wands, uh, Open Blocks. What else? Storage Drawers. Malice's Doors. All these are just decorations. Grimcore definitely gave us a lot of mods allow us to make things look cool. Which is not my specialty. <laughs> We've got some train craft stuff. Recurrent complex. Cool. Oh. I read the game. Oh, there it is. Some train craft stuff. Um, 
Back into TFC. TFC has so many pages of stuff. And that's about it. So not a ton of mods, but you know we can we can do some automation, that kind of stuff with Billcraft and, and that kind of thing. So let me know what you want to see with this series. I'm still doing my um, other series on Landstrider's server as well. So that one's going to be more of the high tech. This is just like let's beat Terra Firmacraft and use mods to do it type thing. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, thumbs up for Vein Miner being awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.